The award-winning Chiltern Open Air Museum is a great day out for all the family. The museum rescues traditional buildings from all around the Chilterns area, brick by brick, timber by timber, and brings it back to this beautiful 45-acre traditional Chilterns landscape. There's everything here. Edwardian public conveniences from Caversham, a reconstructed Iron Age house, through to a 1947 prefab. They even have King Henry VIII's hunting lodge. There's loads of things to do where they have lots of reenactments and things like that going on over the summer and we're going to find out what happens with the Normans. We've brought a small living history camp which shows some of the soldiers, the cook tent which is the communal army eating area and such and uh, we've got a small armoury where we've dumped all the arms and armour and stuff for people to come and look at and actually touch and see and we've got the uh, doctor there who can explain what happened to the people after they got the terrible battlefield injuries. So doctor, doctor. Hello, yes, how hey, can I help you? I've got a bit of a problem, I've got a bit of toothache. Toothworm. Toothworm? <laughs> yes. Toothworm. Toothworm. What's that then? Well, the holes in your teeth that hurt because the worms burrowed a hole in it. Oh my God, well, what do I do about that? Well, um, one of the simplest things is I can take this probe, um, I'll heat it in the fire, until it's good and red hot, and then I'll stick it down the worm's hole to kill the worm for you. My goodness, so there's some disgusting things they used to do, isn't there? But a lot of it was very practical. Did um, any of it uh, work? But, uh, yeah, a lot of the herbalism would have been very, very practical. Right, and that's now used today. If you'd come to see me, I, I work out what's wrong with you, I decide what kind of medicines, what combination of herbs would be useful, and I send you to the apothecary who could make you maybe, it might be a pill or a potion, mm -hmm. an ointment, mm -hmm. pretty much the kind of medicines you'd find today. We don't just try and sort of run around and hit one another, a lot of it is about trying to actually tell people about the period, raise some enthusiasm and interest and show people really what a fantastic and varied history this country's had and you know, try and bring it to life. What the museum does is incredibly important preserving traditional buildings around the Chilterns area. There are 33 historic buildings from 2000 years ago through to 1947, just after the war. There are lots of friendly animals to come and see and you've also got work still in progress. In the early days we were offered quite a lot of buildings um, many of which are still lying in flat pack oh, really? in their storage. Uh, well, MFI for historic buildings. That's it. <laughs> the buildings made of Witchet, which is a form of decayed limestone that occurs around Haddenham in right. a very small area, mixed with water and a little bit of sand and straw. Uh, so it's taken us three years to get up. Having visited the Victorian Toll House, you reach the Victorian Farmyard. And here you'll see a threshing barn from Chowfont St Peter with the most wonderful 1947 Ransom Simpson Jeffries thrashing machine inside, fully restored by the volunteers. Around the village green there's a number of historic buildings including Henton Mission Room from Oxfordshire and a pair of thatched cottages from Leegrave. So it's not all about just old buildings, there's a lot of interaction here, like in this Victorian vicarage room children from 2011 can come along and experience what life was like as a child in 1896. <laughs> Well, we've had a lovely day out at the Chiltern Open Air Museum and there's always something to do here, whatever the weather.